Hi everyone, my name is Nick Olson and uh, today I'm going to be taking you through how to set up your polars. It's a walkthrough session, should make setting up your polars nice and easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into a screen share so I can walk through how you set up your polars. Okay, here we are in the PredictWind website. This is the PredictWind app and the PredictWind website. So the PredictWind website, that's where we need to initially set up our polars so that we can set up our polars for when we use them in the offshore app. Um, but so we have, to, we have to do this on the PredictWind website. Then we'll be able to use the polars that we've set up in the website in the PredictWind offshore apps. Okay, so I'll just change tabs here. So here we are, we're in forecast.predictwind.com and we're in the tables. And so to go and set up our polars, we need to click on this button here. I'll just collapse those forecasts and we want to come down here where it says tools. We click on the tools button and then we click on weather routing. Okay, so here we are in the weather routing page in the predict wind forecast website and there's a weather routing tab here and there's a routing preferences tab so we're going to click on this routing preferences tab so we've clicked on there and this is where we can set up our polars so you'll see here i've got boat polar and wave polar first of all we'll set up our boat polar which is what records how fast our boat is going to go in any given uh, wind condition at any given wind angle. Okay, so you see here we have different uh, types of polars. We have a predefined polar, a power polar for if you've got a power boat. Sail polar is another type of sailing polar. And then we have the advanced polar, which is what we uh, can use if uh, we want to adjust our polar quite a bit. So we come over here to the predefined polar and we can select our boat. So this is the list of all the boats that we have uh, preset in the Predict Wind database. And you'll see there's a lot of boats in here. So if you find your boat in here, that's great. You can choose that. Uh, if your boat's not in here, you can choose a boat that is just like your one. So, you know, it may not be exactly the same performance wise, but it can be pretty close and then we can adjust that polar later. So what should we choose? A first 45. So we'll choose that there. We've uh, chosen our, our boat polar. If we wanted to, we could copy that across to the advanced polar. I'd click on that button and it would go across there into the advanced tab. So you can see there it's loaded my polar in there. Uh, and I could adjust that in the advanced tab. If I had a power boat, I could come in here and I could put my average speed that I'm going to cruise at. So you can see here we've got this boat set up for nine knots. So into the wind, across the wind, and with the wind, we've got them all at nine knots. And our maximum speed in zero knots of wind, so that's flat water. Um, we can always sort of just have that set for nine knots so that the router will actually just assume that that's our cruising speed and we can go from there and then the wave polar will adjust it. So that's our power boat polar. If we want to look at the sail polar, this is, as I said before, just a really simple version of the predefined polar really, or the advanced polar. Um, and so this has upwind at 50 degrees. So that's true wind angle, 50 degrees. We use true wind angle for weather routing. Uh, 90 degrees to the wind, 90 degrees true wind angle, our boat speed, and downwind at 160 degrees. So we're pr running pretty flat there at 160 degrees, and this is in 15 knots of wind and moderate waves. So as I mentioned before in the predefined, we copied our polar across to the advanced, and here we have the advanced polar. You do not have to use this, but if we want to adjust our polar, you can come in here and adjust it. I'll do another little walkthrough on how we do advanced polars and how we deal with them uh, later, because it's a topic on itself. But uh, if you if you want to, uh, and so you can go and watch that uh, walkthrough.
You'll see here that if we also wanted to import a polar or export this polar, we could. So let's go back to our predefined setting. We've got our first 45 there that we selected before. Uh, we've got our polar curve over here. This is how fast the boats, you know, the visual display of how fast our boat's going to go in uh, different wind speeds at different wind angles. Uh, so I mentioned before this motoring setting, we can turn that on and off. We don't really need to worry about that now uh, because we can turn that on and off uh, when we do our weather routing, um, whether we're in the Predict Wind app, uh, the Predict Wind forecast website, which we are here, or whether we're in the offshore app, uh, we can turn that motoring setting on and off. So let's not worry about it now. Let's just have that un unticked. Um, and you'll see up here we have our polar speed adjustments. Again, we don't need to adjust these now, but just a little explainer as to what they are. If you put this down to, let's say, 90%, it's going to adjust your entire polar down 10%. If I went to 110%, it would be 10% faster. So I'll put that back at 100. And you'll see here I have at night, the hours of darkness, it's actually got me going at 90%. Uh, so that's just a bit slower at night uh, because I'm not going to be able to sail quite as fast at night because I might be sailing shorthanded. That's the, the, the general setup of our uh, performance polar for uh, wind uh, and how we go in the wind. And so now we can set it up for the waves. So the effect that the primary, secondary, tertiary wave states or swells will have on our boat. So we can click on the wave polar there and you see here, enable disable wave polar. If I turn it off, everything goes gray. Turn it on, we've got uh, these use predefined boat dimensions here. Just before we jump into that, you see over here, advanced wave polar. Just ignore this. This is actually the old uh, way of, of doing the, the wave polars. Turn that off. We don't want to know about that. Keep that off. Uh, we want to use the auto wave polar and where it's going to generate uh, the hydrodynamic model of our boat, uh, given these dimensions here. So we've got it turned on here, and then this little tick here, I can use predefined boat dimensions. These are the dimensions that we uh, have for uh, your, the particular boat that you've chosen from that predefined list. You can adjust these. Um, if I had lots of gear on board, I could change that up to 10 tons. My waterline length, my beam, and my draft, and that's the draft of my hull, not my keel draft. So if we have a little look here, I click on this. What do these mean? I can see what each of those requirements, their specifications are that it's asking me for. So we've got all that set. We're happy with that. Um, so then we can scroll down here and we can have a look at our route defaults. These aren't strictly uh, for our polars, so we don't really need to go into this now, but we can just set them up. You know, depth avoidance at five meters. We can adjust this on the other platforms. Um, and our tidal currents. Again, we can adjust that anyway. So we don't really need to look at that now for our uh, polar setup. So we do have our, for our polar, we do have, uh, I'll go just click back onto boat polar there. We do have it set up for faster time, fastest time. Over here, you can add a comfort setting where it will avoid certain conditions. Uh, I generally like to just use the fastest time and then if I wanted to, I might run another route uh, using the comfort setting. Again, this is a setting that we can change anywhere on any platform. So we can have it in the Predict Wind app or in the offshore app, we can change these. So we don't need to get too carried away with those now. Let's just stick with fastest time. We have our boat polar set up. We have our wave 